go! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Whew, dove season's almost here. Your boy's getting pumped, and I got some new things to show y'all. A few products, probably three total, yeah, that every duck hunter out there needs to see for the 2022-23 season. Now, these are new products hitting the industry, and your boy's here to bring them to you. I want to thank these companies for stepping out of the box and working with your boy. Thank you guys. Now let's get into it. We're wasting no time today. I'm gonna show you the first one here and then we're gonna head back to the pond so I can show you what she looks like in action. Alrighty guys, this is the high and dry utility pole. And yes, it is called a utility pole for a reason. It is not called a hunting pole. It is called a utility pole. Now it is a hunting stick, a hunting pole, and it does a lot of different things. I wish I would have had one of these 10 years ago. But before we get headed out back to the pond, I got to tell you a few things about this bad boy. First off, made in America. Second off, if you use code BOB at checkout, you will receive a free cup holder. Check it out. Yeah, you can put your little beverage there while you're out there shooting the old dove right in the face, right? Or the teal, or the ducks, or the geese, or whatever. So I will link the high and dry utility pole down in the description below. Again, use code BOB at checkout to receive a free gift worth $25. Thank you high and dry for hooking my subscribers up like that. Uh, second of all, this bad boy, it will extend to 67 inches y'all, 67 inches. Check this out. I don't care how tall y'all you are or how deep the water is, you can keep your stuff dry with high and dry. It's, it's, a, it's a clever name. You did good at the, on that one. But before we get into the wind outside, it's windy as heck. I just wanna show you how she works. It comes with this, first of all, this is their mud stake. When you are dealing with thick, thick clay mud, it will suck in there and we will see it in a minute. That's why it can hold up to 45 pounds on the hooks right here. So whether it's a coat, a blind bag, your shotgun, your cup holder holding your ammunition up out of the water, 45 pounds. These bad boys are sweet. Two and a half pounds is all this weight. So it being six plus pounds and you don't want to carry it in, no way, 2.5. All right, we're headed back to the pond before it gets windy. There's so many public hunts, so many river hunts, so many muddy hunts where I could have been using this. Uh, so many public hunts uh, where we were just standing in the water and we had nowhere to put our blind bags, our shells or anything. I am a firm believer on public hunts. I love to use a boat to get where I need to go, set up and then ditch the boat and uh, just kneel down or sit on a chair. Once you hide that boat, you have a lot better reaction on birds if you can just naturally hide. But when you don't have a boat, you have nowhere to put your stuff. You have nowhere to hang your birds on your lanyard. You have nowhere to keep your shotgun, your camera, your phone, your shells out of the water. That's why I say, I wish I would have had this product a, at least 10, 12 years ago, at minimum. Holy smokes, I just drove back here to the pond. There is so many doves back here still. Hurry up, dove season. I could do so much hunting just back here in my backyard, but this is a steel attachment that is extra sturdy, all welded up, and it's better for hard ground. Like a, when you're hunting a field, a corn field, a wheat field. This is for mud and water and silt. This is for when you need to jump on it a little bit to get it in there, when it's hard ground. Ooh. This is some really soupy stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and extend it and <laughs> uh, I have been told if you get this bad boy in there deep enough, it creates a suction barrier when pulling it out. Oh, this ain't the easiest barefoot. Okay, that is nice. This is some really silty stuff, guys. And look at that, look how much that bends over. This thing is so nice. Oh, oh yeah, let's try it over here in the water. Nice to put in, it'd be easier if I had waders on. But she's in there, she is in there. Um, not as soft as I thought, but this pole 
would have been a game changer a long time ago. But there she is. What a product. What a great idea. Made in America, 2.5 pounds. It's got these billet nuts, clicks into place, tighten her down. So this pole gives me ideas. Like take the top off, put a little attachment on there. Now you have an extended mojo pole. Uh, I could use this if I'm using like a camo net, just to, as a blind, you know, I do a lot of pigeon hunts where I like to just use a army camo net be perfect absolutely perfect all right product number two all my guys with dogs out there you know my new dog will be here in less than a month and come on fred here let's go check it out here fred here my new impact dog crate so first off guys impact dog crates are made of high grade aluminum and they are extremely light extremely uh mobile you do not break your back with these, and you know me, I have a decent sized lab, old Frederick. Yeah, he's a big boy. He really is. Uh, I opted to choose the side door entry. Um, as you can tell, it comes with keys for both doors. So, a locked entry, two different sides. This is the 34 inch version, which is perfect for most sized hunting labs amazing color options and they are giving my subscribers only 15 percent off of your purchases all of your purchases forever so again use code bob bob at checkout at impactdogcrates.com these bad boys are also made in america high quality again very light guys extremely light I have another kennel. It's nice and all, but it's so heavy. I about break, I almost break my back every time I have to get it in and out of the bed of my truck. With the side door, I can put it in the back of an SUV or I can use it regular in the back of my truck. They're amazing. They are sweet. Spring-loaded handles. You guys know how big Fred is. Come on, Fred. Come on, kennel. Come on, let's go. Get in there. How you like it? Good boy. You like it, buddy? Huh? Like he's got a ton of room in there. He really does. Let's look at him from the other side. So they actually have a bigger version as well. This is the large. They have an XL version. Here, Fred, come on. Let's go. Awesome kennels, though. Again, if you guys are looking for a high-quality dog kennel that is made here in the U.S., and they're helping out your boy by hooking me up. Awesome company from here in America. Use code BOB yet again for 15% off any of your purchases. I will link Impact Dog Crates down below as well as the high and dry utility pole. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This one here. <coughs> mm -mm. I had to come inside, y'all. I am hot. It says 107 outside with a good wind. That ain't a good wind. <laughs> But again, a uh, huge shout out to High and Dry. Huge shout out to Impact Dog Crates, two awesome American-based companies. Providing hunters, waterfowlers, duck hunters, all alike across the nation with quality products at a great price. And they're the ones out here helping support me. Thank you. Last but not least, before we uh, end it here, I want to give a huge shout out to Garmin. I don't know how many of you might have notice my new watch this is a garmin smartwatch and a lot of you that have been watching the videos i've been wearing an apple watch for a long time well my buddies at garmin reached out and they're like bob you are a true outdoorsman avid outdoorsman you need a true outdoorsman watch a smartwatch and i'm like really garmin makes those i had no clue it is a uh, solar charged um, basically if I wear this every day outside, I will never have to charge this bad boy. Right now, I have never put it on. I got it out of the box two days ago, three days ago now. Threw it on. It said that I had 90 hours of battery life left. Yes, they last forever. Right now, I'm at 88. 88 hours. <laughs> Over three days. So it just keeps recharging itself. Uh, geolocations. Uh, constant weather up updates by the hour so when I'm guiding and I need to know hey the rain's gonna be here in 10 minutes in 20 minutes in an hour uh, preparing for the hunts a huge help right here 
Thank you, Garmin. Uh, we'll be rocking a uh, Garmin e-collar on both dogs this year as well, especially the new dog. Probably not Fred, but definitely the new dog. I really urge you guys to try these products out, especially if you've been looking into any of these products in the past or, or thinking you might need something like this. The utility pole is a public hunter's best friend. I am going to tell you that right now. So remember guys, links are all down below. Use code BOB at checkout. It'll save you guys some money and you'll get a free cup holder, that $25 cup holder from High and Dry. I'll uh, be bringing you guys updates on more products that are hitting the ground running for 22-23. Stay safe out there. Hunting season's almost here, but until next time. I ain't even getting mad. Cause I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism. Pessimism.